Ever wondered about the simple joys and unexpected humor that unfolded in households during the early 1960s? Perhaps it was around a cozy living room where you first encountered the TV series Hazel. When did you first witness the charming chaos caused by the titular character's unconventional approach to domestic life? Was it a fixture of your childhood, or did you stumble upon it later in life? In the realm of classic television, Hazel stands as a beacon of timeless family entertainment. This sitcom, which graced screens from 1961 to 1966, follows the misadventures of Hazel Burke, a vivacious and headstrong housemaid. Played by the incomparable Shirley Booth, Hazel became a beloved household figure for viewers across the nation. The show's charm lies not just in its humorous escapades, but in its subtle exploration of the dynamics within the Baxter family. Hazel's wit and wisdom often transcended her job description, making her an integral part of the family she served. Did Hazel's unconventional yet endearing approach to her duties resonate with your own experiences or perhaps influence your perspective on family life? Before we delve into random facts about this classic series, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Hazel? How has this sitcom left its mark on your life? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Now let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about the behind the scenes magic that made Hazel a standout in the annals of television history. Did you know that Shirley Booth's portrayal of Hazel earned her two primetime Emmy awards? Or that the show was adapted from Ted Key's popular single panel cartoon, The Saturday Evening Post? Whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer to the world of Hazel, there's always more to discover about this timeless gem. Join us on this journey through the heartwarming and humorous legacy of a television series that has stood the test of time. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Hazel? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Hazel, a classic television series that premiered in the early 1960s, emerged as a beloved sitcom renowned for its unique blend of humor and heart. Adapted from Ted Key's popular Saturday evening post-cartoon, the show followed the misadventures of the Baxter family's wise and witty live-in maid. The titular character, portrayed by Shirley Booth, exuded a charismatic mix of warmth and wit as she navigated the challenges of maintaining order in the Baxter household. Hazel's unorthodox methods, combined with her endearing charm, endeared her to audiences, making the show a cultural touchstone. The series seamlessly integrated domestic comedy with social commentary, offering a lighthearted yet insightful reflection of the era's values and dynamics. Hazel's interactions with the family, especially with George Baxter, her affable but perpetually flustered employer, formed the crux of the show's humor. With its memorable characters, clever writing, and timeless appeal, Hazel left an indelible mark on the landscape of television, solidifying its status as a classic sitcom that resonates with audiences even today. Its legacy endures as a testament to the enduring power of well-crafted, character-driven storytelling in the realm of television. Bobby Buntrock, the lone child on Hazel, left a lasting impact on the series. Following his time on the show, he made brief appearances in a couple of episodes on The Virginian in 1967. Tragically, seven years later, at the age of 21, Bobby Buntrock lost his life in a South Dakota auto accident. His role as the Baxter family's young and endearing son remains a significant part of Hazel's legacy. The residence where Hazel and the Baxters lived holds its own share of history. The house, situated on Blondie Street at Warner Ranch in Burbank, served as the backdrop for other notable productions, including Gidget, Bye Bye Birdie, and even found its way into the Lethal Weapon movie franchise. This iconic location, featuring homes from various TV shows and movies, adds a unique layer to Hazel's cultural footprint. An interesting tidbit about the series lies in its theme song. While the vocal version graced the end credits of the first eight episodes, the subsequent ones opted for an instrumental rendition. This subtle shift in the soundtrack throughout the series reflects the show's evolution and creative choices. These aspects, from Bobby Buntrock's impactful presence to the shared filming location with other classics, and the thematic evolution of the show's soundtrack, contribute to the rich tapestry of the 1961 TV series Hazel. Each detail adds depth to the enduring legacy of this beloved sitcom, showcasing its cultural significance beyond the screen. Based on the cartoons of Ted Key, which appeared in the Saturday Evening Post magazine, Adapted from Ted Key's popular Saturday Evening Post cartoons, Hazel emerged as a classic television series in the early 1960s. 
The show centered around the misadventures of the Baxter family's live-in maid, portrayed by Shirley Booth. Hazel, with her unconventional methods and charismatic warmth, became a cultural touchstone, seamlessly blending domestic comedy with social commentary. The character Hazel's interactions, especially with George Baxter, her affable yet perpetually flustered employer, formed the core of the show's humor. Beyond its on-screen charm, Hazel left an indelible mark on the television landscape, showcasing the enduring power of well-crafted storytelling. The impact of the series extends beyond the screen. Bobby Buntrock, who played the Baxter family's young son, left a lasting legacy despite his tragic end. The residence used as the backdrop for Hazel, located on Blondie Street at Warner Ranch in Burbank, became iconic, featuring in other notable productions like Gidget and Bye Bye Birdie. An interesting tidbit about the series lies in its theme song. While the vocal version graced the initial episodes, a shift to an instrumental rendition reflected the show's evolution and creative choices. These aspects, from the source material in Saturday Evening Post to the shared filming location with other classics, and the thematic evolution of the show, contribute to the rich tapestry of Hazel. Each detail adds depth to the enduring legacy of this beloved sitcom, showcasing its cultural significance beyond the screen. In the realm of Hazel, subtle details speak volumes about the series. One such intriguing aspect lies in the evolution of its opening credits. Notably, the opening song takes an unexpected turn, reaching a climax as Whitney Blake appears with her name below, marked by a flamboyant flair. This peculiar choice in the credits adds a touch of uniqueness to the show's presentation. Moreover, Hazel's connection with the automotive world is not merely coincidental. Sponsored by the Ford Motor Company during its first four seasons, the series seamlessly integrated Ford cars into the Baxter's lives. A noteworthy moment occurred in the spring of 1964, when the show boldly featured the recently introduced Ford Mustang, showcasing an early instance of product placement in television history. Delving further into the visual landscape of Hazel, the opening credits capture a quaint scene of Hazel passing groceries to the Baxter family. Amidst this, the camera focuses on Dorothy Baxter, revealing a church beyond the trees. Interestingly, this church endured its own tale of transformation. Following a major fire in 1970 on the Columbia Ranch, the original church was damaged and subsequently leveled. Columbia Studios took on the task of rebuilding the church, but with a twist. The new structure was strategically placed off in the distance, offering a subtle yet significant change in the show's backdrop. As we explore these nuanced facets of Hazel, from the dynamic opening credits to the strategic inclusion of Ford vehicles and the evolving scenery, we gain a deeper understanding of the show's meticulous details. Each element contributes to the rich tapestry of Hazel's legacy, making it more than just a sitcom, but a fascinating piece of television history. As we bid adieu to the enchanting tales spun by the 1961 television series, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and memory-laden streets. Hazelin, a timeless tapestry of human connection and domestic charm, has woven its way into the fabric of our recollections. The warmth of its characters and the gentle hum of familial bonds resonate across the years, transcending the confines of the screen. As you reflect upon the tapestry of your own life, we invite you to share the hues that Hazelin painted in your heart. What moments linger in the corridors of your memory, sparked by the tender narratives and subtle laughter echoing through each episode? Was it the quirky charm of the characters or the simple, profound lessons that left an indelible mark? In this collective journey through the vintage realms of Hazeland, your voice becomes a treasured note in the symphony of shared memories. Whether a fleeting smile or a poignant realization, your reflections illuminate the rich tapestry that connects us across time and space. So open the door to your heart and let the echoes of Hazeland resound, forging a bridge between the past and the present. Thank you for joining us on this whimsical stroll down memory lane, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary and the everyday moments become timeless tales. Your thoughts, like whispers carried by the wind, breathe life into the legacy of Hazelin. Until we meet again on the pathways of shared stories, may the spirit of this classic series continue to inspire and resonate in the cozy corners of your recollections.